broadcasting the good news of Jesus Christ to North America and to people around the world. We welcome you to Nashville Alive. Our faithful prayer partners are here to take your important calls. So join us today for an inspirational time of interview and song. Nashville Alive. Now, here's your host. Hello and welcome to Nashville Alive, where we spotlight all different kinds of exciting and great things going on in the Nashville area. I'm today's host, Michelle Moore with MichelleMinistries.com. And I'm so excited about today's show. We've got a great guest, Natasha Jacobs, here with us today in the studio. Hi. Hello, Michelle. Well, thank you for coming in today. And um, I'm so excited to, to hear a little bit more about your music CD. So you ready to get started? Yes, thank you. Thank <laughs> all you right, so rest in him. Um, I love this. So this is actually a, a meditation CD, and I want to ask you, what is different about this CD than other meditation CDs that are out there? Excellent question. Uh, this specific CD is using God's Word to meditate and, and lead people through the meditation. So basically taking evidence-based practice with music therapy, um, the music has been composed according to the music therapy research on relaxation music. So evidence-based practice there, uh, relaxation techniques. We have a lot of research that shows that uh, guided imagery and deep breathing um, really bring down our blood pressure, bring our heart rate down, uh, elicit that relaxation response. So taking those things and combining them with God's word, with my faith, has just been um, something really heavy on my heart to, to pursue and be obedient to God's calling. So the foundation is God's Word. We are told to meditate on His Word, and this is exactly what that is, um, allowing people to find rest in Him. Oh, wow, wow, that is such a great idea. Um, How did you get the idea? I worked in behavioral health for many years, and uh, I'm very passionate about helping people manage their stress, anxiety, pain, um, and I had always been leading people through these relaxation exercises and I had never been able to find anything specifically for Christians. And us, as Christians, I, I, a lot of us have shunned these ideas because of the New Age and the Eastern philosophies that have taken what I believe God created for us. Every good and perfect gift is from Him. And I believe that they have distorted that to where we have not been able to fully um, engage in these relaxation techniques that were intended for us to be able to use, but in a, in a very biblically sound way. So um, it was truly something to, that God just put on my heart. I give Him the glory for it. It's not my creativity, but <laughs> thankful that He just led me to do that. So when you were choosing the scriptures, was that difficult or did you just know, okay, these are it? It was very difficult. I And I actually wrote this while I was in uh, Cabo San Lucas uh, on vacation with my mom. And I literally, it's using beach imagery. Um, but I, I truly feel like, like you've mentioned having a download from the Holy Spirit. And I truly felt like that was what it was as I was writing the guided imagery. Um, the Lord really just brought to my mind the scripture that needed to be in there. So it was, there was gentle guidance and it was, it was surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, it, and it's funny too, because sometimes when we get those downloads, it's like, okay, we know it's not us. Yes. And that gets exciting and like, oh my yes. goodness, and I can't type fast enough. Exactly. Did you, ex did you get that? That's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Every morning I would wake up and I would just, it would just be pouring out. Um, and it's just, it's, I'm so grateful for it because I don't know, I don't know if I could have done it. I know I couldn't have done it on my own. But. So this is a tool that you saw within your own business and industry that um, there just wasn't anything like it. That's correct. And so I, I, I want to kind of stay on this for a second. So when you're working within that industry and you were thinking about this idea, uh, was it something that you saw that your patients were needing or asking, hey, do you have anything that is scripture based that would be a guided meditation? CD, were they asking for anything like that? A lot of them actually weren't. And it was something that it, I don't think anyone thought to, 
for instance, my uh, a good friend of mine that uses this uh, regularly, it, he, he said, I never thought to combine the two. I never thought to combine the science with my faith because he would do the the mindfulness relaxation exercises to elicit that relaxation response within himself, but then he would kind of keep his faith separate. And why not use what the research has shown to be true, but to be able to combine that with the biblically supported therapeutic principles that um, is, I think there's a huge deficit out there, especially for us as Christians, because yeah. we're we can live in that freedom, freedom from anxiety, freedom from depression, freedom from insomnia and pain, and uh, just the overall stress in our life. I gotta say, um, it, it is kind of just such an obvious, I would think, to have. And then for you to say this was something that was really missing from your industry seems kind of almost like unbelievable right. that it, somebody else hadn't already done this. Right, right, yes. <laughs> it seems so obvious. So, okay, so you've got this one. Do you have any more in the works? Yes, actually. We have uh, volume two will be a, uh, what, a progressive muscle relaxation and deep breathing. Um, and, and again, God's Word is the foundation. So that's volume two. And then, uh, of course, the music will again be composed according to the, the research. It's very important that it is evidence-based practice. Um, and then volume three will be uh, a guided meditation on the Psalms, and it'll just be titled Selah. So. Oh, wow. So yeah. you've got a couple in the works. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I like it. I like Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So I was with you this weekend yes. um, recently with um, something else, and it was kind of related to this, but I heard somebody say that they had a copy of the CD. It turned out to be somebody I had sent a copy to, and um, I didn't get to hear everything she said. And so I guess it's more of like a, a testimonial. I happened to be there, but I di didn't get to hear everything. Can you share a little bit about what, uh, and it was our friend, my friend, Tony. Yes. Can you share a little bit about what Tony said? Absolutely. So she had shared that she had, um, her granddaughter, I believe, was born premature. premature at and four ounces yes, last my year. Goodness. And that there was just a lot of uncertainty and fear that had been um, within her and, and she was having a lot of trouble sleeping. And uh, Michelle sent her a CD and I believe that was prompting of the Holy Spirit. And uh, she said that she was able to put in the CD and just had sweet sleep and was able to finally get some rest and shut off her thoughts at night that, that would keep her up and the worry that would happen. And, and this, this talks specifically a lot about worry and fear mm -hmm. and leads people into um, just Jesus's rest. Well, I know that was a, a big full circle moment for me, even though I didn't get to hear everything that she had said to you about her testimonial yes. of hearing it. But um, can you share, and I'm sure that's a wow moment for you, but yes. how, has, has God, uh, how has God really wowed you throughout this entire project? Truly, it's been the testimonials. You know, I have just been absolutely astounded at the, what people are saying and, and what uh, peace they're feeling, the, the sweet sleep that they're getting, the release of the anxiety over them. Um, it's just been amazing. The very, very, all, everything from uh, going into medical procedures and, and having anxiety about getting a stent put in and being able to just have peace about that, remembering that we're in God's hands. And uh, to one of my dear friends, she's also a music therapist. She works in a psychiatric setting and um, it, the scripture was exactly what she needed to hear that morning before going to work. And, you know, God's word doesn't return void. And so I just, I, that, that's my prayer is every person that listens, it fulfills the exact need that, that, that they have in that moment. So it's just been amazing across the board. So many testimonials for peace, anxiety, a release of um, the insomnia, pain management, things like that. Yeah. That's how he's wowed me. <laughs> Testimonials. <laughs> you saw the deficit in your industry, but you had no idea what it would actually really do no. if it was available. No. And yes. so that's where God comes in and just uses it. And, and even like I was saying, you know, it was the prompting of the spirit that I sent it to my friend, Tony. But, uh, and I don't even know that I ever even told you I'd sent it to her, but it was like mm. a year ago. Wow. And, um, and so, and now her grandbaby is healthy and doing great, but they went through a very traumatic experience where they almost lost that grandbaby a couple mm. of times. 
symptoms. And so she was going through so much trauma. And, um, and so it was great because to hear her say how much this CD helped her, uh, and I didn't get to hear everything. Like I said, I didn't get to hear everything that she said to you. And so I wanted to make sure to get to hear that today. Oh. And, and what, what, a, what a great moment, a fir, like I said, a full circle moment too, to get to hear what your work has really done. And God, you know, inspired you to do this, walked you through it, gave you that inspiration, gave you the details of the scripture, and then look at what's already going. The fruit from that it's is amazing. amazing. It's incredible. <laughs> yes, it really is. I just, I shake my head and I'm just, you know, all I want to be is a living vessel and a, a living sacrifice and just say yes. You know, you've said, just say yes. If not you, then who? And so, okay, God, I'm, I'm going to just be obedient. And then the rest is your, in your hands. And he's just been so faithful to just get it to the people that have needed it and, and used it. And I'm just so grateful. Very, very grateful. Okay, so before we get into how to get the CD and anybody who might be going, oh my goodness, I need a copy of this. I want to ask you just right before that, um, just stepping into doing something like that, was that hard? <laughs> was it hard or what, it what was, was that process It like? was. I had to overcome my own fear and doubt and, and the lies of the enemy. You know, I just had to keep um, something that you always say that just resounds in my I, my head, obedience lights the path. So I didn't know, I thought I was creating this, uh, just a script, writing a script for my life group that I was called to lead at my church. And um, from there, it was just amazing that it just began to evolve and turn into, each time I did something I knew I was supposed to do, then I, okay, I'm supposed to actually do this. So I designed the cover. I we recorded in our home studio. My husband's a musician, and so um, everything was just one step after the other. So thinking about it, if I had known the end product, I would have been way more overwhelmed. Even though I was still like, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, just saying yes and one little step at a time really helped helped me at least do what I knew I was supposed to do and be obedient. That's so great. All right. So Natasha, how can someone buy Rest in Him? They can go to my website, so you can get a digital download uh, direct from the website. The website's uh, resoundingpeace.com, or um, there's also a link on my website. If you want a physical hard copy, you can go to cdbaby.com slash Bart and Natasha Walker, and that um, it's two different things. So a digital download will direct download right to your computer and you can just have it instantly or you can order an actual physical hard copy. So it's two different ways to do it, but resoundingpeace.com is where you can Get all, get, that you need. get all the yes. copies you need. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Natasha. All right, so Natasha Jacobs, uh, rest in him. Go to, what is the website? Resoundingpeace.com. Resoundingpeace.com. Resoundingpeace yes. All right, and coming up next, we're going to have Tammy Daniels here with us in the studio. And if you want to support the TCT Network and Nashville Alive, you can always go to 1-800-232-9855. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Nashville Alive, and I'm today's host, Michelle, with michelleministries.com. And I'm so excited we've got another guest with us today, Tammy Daniel. Um, she is the author of Thus Far. I gotta say, this is an interesting story. It was a little bit of a page turner, a little riveting, mm -hmm. uh, just talking with you about your story. And um, I, I am excited that you're here today. So thank you for joining oh, us. I'm glad to be here with you. Okay, so thus far, it's your story. So My story. Yeah, thus far. <laughs> yeah, it's not over yet. So what led you to write this book? Well, I felt like if I lived through um, what I did and the Lord carried me through that there are so many people suffering from the lack of how will I ever get through this or there's no reason to get through it and I want to share with them there is hope. There's always hope as long as we have Christ and no matter how hard the circumstance looks you can overcome through Him and so that through His prompting of the Holy Spirit that's why I wrote my story. Okay. That's so good. Um, so many times people uh, are so discouraged and so down and so out. And uh, mm -hmm. once I read that we can live for so many days or so many hours without water and without mm -hmm. food, 
but I also read that without hope we can't live one second. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. And so that message that you just said, I just mm -hmm. want to take, kind of take that in because that is really, mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. And hope is one of those things that we can't live if we don't have it. Yeah. And so, uh, and you're, so I'd call you a hope dealer. Okay. <laughs> reminding, <laughs> reminding people and pointing to God and just reminding right. people that He is here and that He is the author of hope. And so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so writing the story and sharing, I, I found something very interesting about your story and I want to back up a little bit about okay. your childhood because when I heard your story, it was interesting to hear and just know through the filter of the fact that you had been a pastor's daughter. Yes. And so how does that uh, affect you as you grow and get into your adulthood, be married, have a family. How do you feel like that affected your life and some of the things we're getting ready to cover? Well, I probably got married at a younger age because um, I, I loved the life of a pastor's kid. It's the only life I've known. But um, at a young age, my dad was um, really bold for Christ, and he had an opportunity to preach in a pulpit one night. And he was preaching about the son going home to be with the father when he had a massive heart attack behind the pulpit. So one moment he was speaking about the Father and the very next moment he was with him. So my father died preaching that night when I was 10 years old. And so it, there's a void there. You know, if you've lost a parent at a young age, there's just that void in your life. Sure. So I think I probably married um, the first person that showed me lots of love. I was looking for that. Um, and so I got married when I was 19 years old, <laughs> really young, and um, and that's the reason, just okay. looking for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so in the book, you talk about an addiction that you discovered. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about that? Yes, I knew um, immediately there was something wrong in my marriage, but I grew up in this conservative background where you don't talk about these personal things. So for 10 years, I never said a word to any of my friends. But I knew that um, there was a void in my marriage, and I talked to my husband about it and got nowhere with that. And then um, my children, I had two children at the time. We fell asleep one night, woke up on the couch, and I went upstairs to find my husband. And he had this just worried look on his face. And I took the remote and pushed play and discovered he was watching pornography. At the time, I, didn't, I had never looked at it myself, and I thought, you rip it up and throw it away, and it goes away. But I learned through the years that this addiction um, is not that way. That unless the Lord can break the addiction in your life, the chains of that addiction, it shows itself over and over, which is what continued to happen in my marriage. Um, he would go periods without looking or without, I knew he wasn't involved. And then suddenly I would see the signs that were back again and know that somewhere, even though I couldn't find it, and it would take me time, and I would just pray that the Lord would show me where to look and um, how to help him with this addiction mm. during wow. his struggles. Yeah. How did the addiction affect um, your marriage as far as knowing that he has this addiction that was going on and would go off and on different times, but h how did that affect your marriage? Well, for the wife of a pornography addict, it's a lonely life because it's a a very self-centered addiction. Everything's about you and even when you're not looking at the material, whether it's videos or magazines or whether it's women or whether it's, you know, however you're living that out, um, you don't need your spouse because even it's playing in your mind even when you're not looking at it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're lonely and you feel dirty, you feel like you're not enough. Mm -hmm. um, Satan really plays on your mind mm -hmm. um, as he plays on your husband's. And so um, it's a fight and it's a, a struggle of anger of um, why can't you just give it up? You know, why am I not enough? So all of those emotions go through you. Even as a Christian, you still have feelings to deal with. And so those are the emotions that I dealt with over and over and over um, as I tried to stay in the marriage. Yeah. Um, I have a few friends, and we haven't talked about this, but uh, we ha I have a few friends that have dealt with that in their marriages, mm -hmm. and uh, it's something that it seems like isn't covered very often mm -hmm. within the Christian um, circle. And so, mm -hmm. and so, what do you have to say for or to somebody who's maybe going through something like this? To remember, as I studied for my um, book and just for different times I've been speaking lately. 67% of men are into pornography. That's, so, that's huge. So if you can remember that you're not alone, you know, there is, 
probably in every church so many men struggling and women struggling with the issue and we just don't talk about it because it seems like this dirty little secret that you keep under the carpet and even when my husband did seek help I'm just trying to find a, a someone in the church that could be his accountability part, partner was hard because no one wants to deal with the situation you know they just think it's not a big deal really but it's affecting families it's affecting children in, in a huge way mm -hmm. and so just remember probably if you talked to one out of five women you're sitting with in church, one of them is dealing with the same thing you are mm -hmm. on some kind of degree. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. And there is such a stigma with it, mm -hmm. then I could see that it would be hard or mm -hmm. it seems as though it's hard to find somebody that even um, is able to help mm -hmm. in a faith-based way. Right. And so, you know, it's one thing to go and get help and get, and get counseling, but it's another to find a, mm -hmm. a Christian counselor that can exactly. provide some good, solid Christian help. Um, and so you said you, you didn't say anything to anybody for years. No. And so why was that? I didn't know what I was looking for. And then at the time, um, I went through counseling thinking, well, there's something wrong with me, you know, causing this issue. Um, then after I did find it the first time, I still didn't tell anyone. But as it progressed, and that's normally what happens with pornography because it's not enough. You want that next look. And so as he progressed in his addiction, I finally spoke up. And when it became, when I found more than I could handle, um, I called my pastor and I called two friends and said, I need help. Mm -hmm. And um, I found comfort in that. Okay, all right. Um, it, when you, uh, and I'm, I'm just curious okay. with your specific story, yeah. When you reached out to your pastor and your two friends, how, and I'm assuming that your two friends were Christians, yes. so how did that go? Well, um, it went great with my pastor. He, you know, immediately we all went there um, and talked that very day. My friends, um, even though they were Christians, they were protective of me mm -hmm. and they want me to leave immediately. And um, so I was trying to pray and figure out, Lord, what do you want me to do here? Um, they were a soft cushion, and whatever decision I was going to make, they were going to stand beside me. Yeah. And they were offering me Bible verses after a verse when they did find out. And um, I was glad that I finally told someone because it took that, that pressure off of your mind, off of your heart, that no one will understand, that um, that they'll they'll feel like it's dirty or mm -hmm. why would you tell something like this? But um, it was a huge help to me for them to keep me motivated and to keep me encouraged. All right, so um, as you're in this and you're dealing with all of this, I know that you started to uh, get some counseling with your pastor. Mm -hmm. And so through that process, did you end up finding out that you had any addictions? Well, um, probably several years after that, um, I was over women's ministry at a large church, and um, I wasn't um, actually with that pastor anymore. We'd moved to a new church, and I was wanting to do more. And um, as I sought to do more with Christ, um, I was vulnerable, and I decided to get counseling on my marriage with several people. And one of those um, relationships turned into an emotional affair. And um, I thought I would never fall into addiction. I mean, I've dealt with addiction for 25 years, you know. Yeah. But suddenly I um, was where I'd never thought I would be. And I was um, struggling with that there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing compared to what he's, you know, done. Mm -hmm. You know, I have every reason. But sin is sin, you know. There's not black and white. And so I had to dig out of where I was then and understand what a stronghold was. I never knew a stronghold that my husband, you know, understood that so many Christians have to deal with strongholds. But suddenly, I had a stronghold in my life to deal with. And so I had to come to the place to see it was a stronghold, mm -hmm. that it was wrong, and, and deal with that and end that relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Um, you know, it seems as though you spent many years dealing with the addiction that your husband had. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then you end up realizing that there's another, a whole right. other aspect. Um, 
I know that there are people that are probably watching that are either are dealing with something like this or are or know someone that is. Mm -hmm. And so um, I I love the book. We've talked a lot about it and, uh, and at your story. It's very uh, touching, very moving. Can you share a little bit about how someone can follow up and follow through with just following you and then also how to get a copy of the book? Okay, so you can get a copy of the book if you'll go to TammyDaniel.com. That's my website. You can order a copy there, or you can go to Amazon.com to order a copy either place. Mm -hmm. And um, on my website, I, I share several um, interviews and blogs about healing and how you can heal. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so we only have about a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. Can you please uh, pray real quick for anybody who reads the book and or who is sure. dealing with what you've dealt with? I'd love to. All right. Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for this moment and uh, everyone that's watching, it's not a mistake, Lord. And I pray for the man or woman who might be watching that need healing. I pray for the man who is suffering through this addiction or any other addiction that you would cause him to get on his knees right now and ask you, Lord, to heal him, to take the chains of this addiction away. I pray that you would help the woman to go and find healing, seek out someone to share her story with that can help her start the process of healing. And if it's meant to heal their marriage, heal their marriage. But Lord, bless them right now in a mighty way. And I pray that you give them hope and encourage them in your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So great, Tammy. Thank you so much. All right, so Tammy Daniel, it's called Thus Far, A Journey from Heartache to Healing to Hope Through Christ. Mm -hmm. I love how you keep pointing right back to God, yes, and it's, it's a fantastic story. Mm -hmm. um, and so, of course, if um, it, we're listeners or uh, viewer supported, and so, of course, if you'd like to do a donation to the TCT Network you can all, and support Nashville Alive, you can always go to, uh, to tct.tv to do a donation online, or you can also call one 800 232-9855. Again, that's 1-800-232-9855. And Tammy, thank you so much. What a, you what, a, what a brave person to come on and share such a great and moving testimony and, um, and just so strong to walk out all of the things that you've walked out. And um, we'll see you next time. And this is Nashville Alive with Michelle Moore and Michelle, michelleministries.com. Garth and Tina want you to be a partner in this ministry. Please send your best love gift today. P.O. Box 1010, Marion, Illinois 62959. This has been an exclusive TCT Network production.